So I, um, <coughs> sorry. So I said I'd um, I'd address how on Garda Corner, the guards, the guardy, uh, use um, sexual assault, sexual humiliation. Um, as uh, forms of oppression and brutality. So here we go. Uh, after the incident in 2018, I filed a GSOC complaint. And as I've um, stated, the GSOC complaint was <coughs> handled uh, corruptly. And just a st small example of that was Gary Russell of GSOC wrote that there was no evidence of physical violence against me. Um, uh, in my medical records, which Gary Russell had and was abusing access to, it states clearly that I was presented to St. James's Hospital physically abused by the Gardaí. So, uh, sorry, this is kind of, it's obviously hard to talk about. But Gary Russell dragged out that complaint fraudulently for nearly uh, a year and uh, nine months to try and run out Piab, basically. And then um, Garda Brian Gillen, Brian Peter Gillen, A168 of Kevin Street. He waited about three, three and a half months. Not, not, not the full time. He was about a month and a shy short before Piab. He waited that long to... Uh, put a second raid through my door and uh, that raid um, is now illegal by um, circuit court judgment it's a constitutional breach it's a breach to mental health act and it's um, probably various other breaches but that's in the uh, circuit court judgment by the honourable judge Melanie Greeley so that raid happened on a on a Saturday um, at 8.45, I was in my house clothes, which is basically like a t-shirt and shorts, no underwear, um, no socks even, I think. Um, and I had just finished dinner. And um, there was banging on my door. And it was, I was sitting in, a room, in, in the room that I said that I did all the legal in. Sorry, this is really hard to talk about. Uh, and uh, just bang, 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 bang. It's the guards, and I, I froze because I've got you know quite bad PTSD or post traumatic stress disorder for people that don't know what that means. And uh, um, they broke in the door, and there was um, six or seven of them in full SWAT gear with a large bullet shield or the, the blast shield whatever they're called the metal shields one guy behind that and with his eyes through the eye slit I, s I swear he looked like he was off his balls on cocaine because his pupils were fucking tiny and they were just there at the top of my stairs um guns pointed um but i couldn't move so i was in as in the room spare room and uh <laughs> all i could do was uh was roll a cigarette and, uh, you know, the, they started shouting at me to come out. Um, so I came to the doorway, really, kind of slowly, and I stood in the doorway and with my arms up with this group of men uh, standing at the top of my stairs with guns pointed at me. And... Um, uh, I'm going to take a break now because this is quite traumatic to talk about but this is part one of um, Gardy's use of sexual assault and humiliation to uh, brutalise their victims um, and to dehumanise their victims and um, I think I probably have to go get like a, a like a small <laughs> one of those little uh baby bottles of gin to steady my nerves because I, I hate talking about this but 
Um, I hope you understand. This is part one. I am actually uh, op delivers every fucking time. If I say I'm going to release it, I'm going to release it. I, I can't thank you enough for the likes, the messages of support, the follows. Um, please share this. Um, like it. Uh, and if you can, um, and if you know anyone who can, donate it and send it to famous people, journalists, I don't know. But this is part one, and I will get back as soon as I've um, steadied the panic attack about talking about what they did to me. Uh, look, I, I, didn't, I know it's probably fucking too late for me, but it, this, the, I hope these help someone who's just at the start of their road of brutality. Um, you're not alone. And they do this to a lot of people. Um, check the video about the guy and, um, having to take a bribe or be murdered. This is EF Fluff slowly being murdered by members of Angarda Siakona, Kevin Street, Irish Town. And uh, big up, big love. This is part one. I'll get back when I've managed to settle my nerves. Thank you.